energy stored in a capacitor. Let's consider a capacitor. Suppose we give small charge Q to this plate, then there will be potential difference between the plates. Suppose on giving charge Q, let's write it, charge given equal to small Q, potential developed. equal to q upon c because q equal to c v so v equal to q upon c or small q upon c both mean same so this plate has charge plus q and this plate has charge minus q now suppose we want to give additional charge dq to this plate then since this charge is positive and we are giving further positive charge so there will be force of repulsion. So some work will be done. So let's write it. Additional charge given equal to D. So work done. Will be dw which is v d q. this follows from the fact that w upon q equal to v or w equal to q v so dw equal to v d q we can put the value of v from here q upon c so q upon c d q now total work done in displacing a charge Q from one plate to another. So we evaluate total work done. That will be W, which is equal to integration. Initial charge is zero and the final charge is supposed to small Q. Then DW, this can be written as zero to Q, DW equal to Q upon C D Q. Since integration x dx gives x square upon 2, so integration 2 dq will give q square upon 2. So we will get w equal to 1 upon c times q square upon 2. Limits 0 to q and putting the limits, q will remain q. So we will get 1 by 2, 2 square upon C. This work done is stored in form of electrostatic energy in capacitor given by UE. So U equal to W and that will be half 2 square upon C. We have formula Q equal to CV. So if we this, we can replace Q by CV. So this will become half CV square, which is another form of energy stored in a capacitor. Thank you for watching.